Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 4. Owner User Inspections Organization. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 4 as well as reviews of some of the important subclauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the subclauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides, we highlight important information contained in clause 4 accompanied by the subclauses. The owner user of pressure vessels shall exercise control of the vessel and pressure relief device inspection program, inspection frequencies, and maintenance, is responsible for the function of an authorized inspection agency in accordance with the provisions of this code is responsible for implementing and executing an effective management of change process that reviews and controls changes to the process and to the hardware. Should implement and maintain an effective program for creating, establishing, and monitoring integrity operating windows. An owner user organization shall also control activities relating to the rating, repair, alteration, and engineering assessments of its pressure vessels and relief devices. Is responsible for developing, documenting, implementing, executing, and assessing pressure vessel, pressure relieving device inspection systems and inspection, repair systems, and procedures that meet the requirements of this inspection code should be audited periodically to determine if the authorized inspection agency is meeting the requirements of this inspection code. Systems and procedures will be contained and maintained in a quality assurance QA inspection repair management system and shall include at least the following organization and reporting structure for inspection personnel, documenting inspection and QA procedures, and reporting inspection and test results, developing and documenting inspection plans risk-based assessments applied to inspection activities establishing and documenting the appropriate inspection intervals corrective action for inspection and test results internal auditing for compliance with the qa inspection manual requirements for the qc system for pressure relieving devices Review and approval of drawings, design calculations, engineering assessments, and specifications. Ensuring that all jurisdictional requirements Reporting to the inspector any process changes or other conditions Training requirements for inspection personnel Controls necessary so that only qualified welders and procedures are used for all repairs and alterations. All repairs and alterations are performed in accordance with this inspection code and applicable specifications. Only qualified NDE personnel and procedures are utilized. Materials conforming to the applicable construction code are utilized for repairs and alterations. All inspection measurement, NDE, 
and testing equipment are properly maintained and calibrated. The work of contract inspection or repair organizations meets the same inspection requirements as the owner-user organization. To ensure that inspectors have the visual acuity necessary to perform their assigned inspection tasks. Repair organization is responsible to the owner-user and shall provide the materials, equipment, QC, and workmanship that is necessary to maintain and repair the vessel or pressure relieving device in accordance with the requirements of this inspection code. All repairs and alterations shall be performed by a qualified repair organization. Engineer The pressure vessel engineer is responsible to the owner-user for activities involving design, engineering review, analysis, or evaluation of pressure vessels and pressure relieving devices as specified in this inspection code. Inspector is responsible to the owner user to assure that the inspection, NDE, repairs, and pressure testing activities meet API 510 code requirements. Can be an employee of the owner user or be a contractor acceptable to the owner user. Note that the inspector's employer equals inspector working under authorized inspection agency shall be directly involved in the inspection activities, especially visual inspections, which in most cases will require field activities to ensure that procedures and inspection plans are followed. All NDE results shall be evaluated and accepted by the inspector who will then make appropriate recommendations for repairs, replacements, or fitness for continued service. Examiner shall perform the NDE in accordance with job requirements, NDE procedures, and owner-user specifications. Does not need API 510 Inspector Certification To be an employee of the owner-user To be trained and competent in the NDE procedures being used and may be required by the owner user to prove competency by holding certifications in those procedures. Examiner's employer shall maintain certification records of the examiners employed, including dates and results of personnel qualifications. Other personnel operating, maintenance, engineering, process and mechanical or other personnel who have special knowledge or expertise related to particular pressure vessels shall be responsible for timely notification to the inspector or engineer of potential issues that may affect vessel integrity. Review questions Question number 1 Owner user quality assurance inspection Repair management system contains all these except Answer is D Question number two. Who is responsible to owner user for activities involving design, analysis, or evaluation of pressure vessels 
and pressure relieving devices covered by the API 510 code. Answer is D. Question number three. Who is responsible to the owner user to assure that the inspection, NDE, and pressure testing activities meet API 510 requirements? Answer is B. Question number four. In order to maintain and repair vessels or pressure relieving device in accordance with the requirements of API 510 code, the repair organization is responsible to the owner user and shall provide all of the following items except answer is d question number five inspectors may be assisted in performing inspections by other properly trained and qualified individuals who are not inspectors. These are called Answer is B. Question number 6. All NDE results must be evaluated and accepted by the Answer is D. Question number seven. Regarding examiner responsibilities, which of the following is not a true statement? Answer is A. Question number eight. Who shall maintain certification records of examiners employed, including dates and results of personnel qualifications, that shall be made available to the inspector? Answer is B. Question number nine. Who is developing, documenting, implementing, executing, and assessing inspection systems and inspection Repair procedures that meet the requirements of API 510. Answer is B. Question number 10. 
Question number 10. Who is provide the materials, equipment, QC, and workmanship that is necessary to maintain and repair the in accordance with the requirements of API 510? Answer is D. Question number 11. If an examiner is trained and competent in an NDE procedure to be used for API 510 examination, may the examiner perform the NDE work? Answer is D. Question number 12. Who is responsible for implementing and executing an effective MOC process that reviews and controls changes to the process and to the hardware? Answer is B. Question number 13. Who should implement and maintain an effective program for creating, establishing, and monitoring integrity operating windows? Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.